sorry. Out of my theater, now. The hospital thief is back. Only a couple of things stolen so far. The digital video card thingies of the material shot in theater. Rachel, you're a genius. <laughs> Miss Moneybags, thank you. So, what do you think? Should I invest it all in the boring stuff or invest a little and have fun with the rest? Oh, fun? Invest? No, there's no reason why all your investments need to be boring. Like buying a horse? Well, no broker's gonna tell you that a horse is a safe investment, but I'm having fun and making money. Mm, very good money. Oh, I'd so love a horse. I love the races, the whole scene, really. My kind of girl. How can you be sure a horse is a good buy, though? Do your research and find people you trust to give you advice. Oh, I don't know anyone. And maybe I'm just getting a bit carried away. I should just buy a massive house somewhere, like Queenstown, maybe? Mm. Boring. No, she's being sensible. Either way, if you ever need to check on a horse that you're interested in, give me a yell. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. Actually, there's a rumor that butterfly kisses from the same stable as mine might be up for sale. You're kidding. She won her maiden place on the last three. Why wouldn't you even think of selling it? If you want, I could check. Why not? Yes, please. No problem. Should we do coffee tomorrow, say about 10? Giddy up. <laughs> Boy, if you had a steak and butterfly kisses, you'd have yourself one hell of a fine investment. Those crims have just made their first court appearance. It says here they're being held on remand. They'll not be able to do this again in a hurry. Hey, Mum. Oh, hello, sweetheart. He's had a good night. All his obs are stable. When did you last get some sleep? I sleep from time to time. I'm fine. Getting run down, Mum. Not enough to sleep, not enough to eat. I'm fine. Ben won't want you running yourself ragged like this. He'll be telling you, get yourself home and get some shut-eye, woman. All right, then. I'll leave you for a bit. Not long, just a few hours. And you'll call me if he wakes up or anything. Anything at all. Promise. Got some time before my shift starts. I'll read him the sports news, eh? Usually reads that part first. I'll see you soon, my darling. The footage we shot in theatre, you or Rachel took it and I want it back. I want back the time you wasted in surgery, unfortunately. I'm not bluffing. I'm about to go to the police. I'm sorry, my only interest is Gemma's well-being. You know, I almost admire your cheek pinching it, but I've worked too long and hard on this to let some quack with a big ego wreck it. All I'm doing is my job. My patient comes first, not your program. This isn't over. Just off for a few hours sleep. Tanya's taken over so Ben doesn't get too lonely. Right. Well, just so you know, our thoughts are with you. And I've arranged a temp until you feel able to return. Oh, thank you. I was wondering about counselling. I know you've got some difficult decisions. Ben to... just needs time to recover. Oh. If you'll excuse me. So did you find out if that man's selling butterfly kisses? Oh, it breaks his heart. He is going to sell. Great. I got some information on her bloodline, too. Is that important? Absolutely. Never buy into a horse based on their current form. You need to know they have good genes. 
And has she? Very. Tell you what, though, she's a beautiful animal. Oh, she looks it. Might have sounded cautious last night about horses in general, but this one's already making serious money. When can I see her? Race. No, actually go and see her. You're king. Oh, I'm bull at a gate, me. I'm already hassling two real estate agents in town. I've seen this great place on the bay. I can just afford it. I've got the morning free. Let me give the trainer a call, eh? Fantastic. Yeah. I'll cancel coffee. <laughs> We go straight up to the stables. Huh. Break a leg then. I'm hoping we can find a compromise that'll make us all happy. Well, I'll give you back my video and I'll skip about the place. Well, we can only hope that happens, but in the meantime, how are we going to handle the rest of the shoot? Well, that depends on how threatened Dr. Warner feels. Content can be edited. You could just as easily make me look like a saint or the devil incarnate. You feel threatened, but you're not the story here. Or at least you weren't. So, we agree. Gemma is and should be the main focus. Instead of the hospital's antagonism towards any media scrutiny. Oh, for Pete's sake. Chris, she's quite right. <sighs> Ursula wants to tell Gemma's story because she cares. Only you also care and are protecting her like a pit bull. We're on the same side. Or we should be. Look, why don't we do lunch? Talk it through. You have a common interest. I'm sure lunch will allow you to formulate a plan to go forward. Lunch it is. Great. I'll book a table at the Ivy. You're very like you two, but if you come back covered in pasta sauce, I'll be disappointed. Such a nice shirt, too. Doing? Oh, you scared the dickens out of me. What are you doing to Beans? Oh, I, I felt so guilty about damaging it that I thought I could fix it. it don't. Just leave it alone. But no, I can fix it. It won't be as good as when Ben made Just it. Just leave can... it and get out! 